Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about the Apple iPhone App Store. And more specifically, I'm gonna show you how to find your purchase history for your App Store purchases on an iPhone or iPad. So let's go ahead and talk about this guys. First off, this is gonna be a really short video. There's not a lot of steps involved with this, so be sure to stick around to the end. And why would you wanna go ahead and find your purchase history on your App Store? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you're curious about your historical transactions on the App Store, or maybe you're wondering how much you paid for a specific app, or possibly you're looking through someone else's account to see what kind of apps they've been downloading. Well, where can you find that history? That's what we're going to talk about. So if you're like me, you probably went to the app store, which is this blue and white icon. Let me open that right now. And as you can see right here, there is no menu to find the historical transactions for your app store. So if you went here like I did, then you see that there's no way to find that information, no matter which one of these options you choose. So what you're actually going to have to do is go to the settings app on your iPhone, which is the gray gear icon. Let me switch over to that now. Okay, so here I am right here. This is where you're going to need to go, which is the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. This is nothing you need to download. It's already pre-installed in your iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and click on there now. All right, once you click there, then you get here on the settings drop down menu. You have a lot of different options, but what you want to do is scroll down until you get to the section called iTunes and App Store. It has the same app icon that we just clicked on a moment ago. I'm going to click on that line now. All right, I went ahead and clicked there. And then here on this screen, it's called iTunes and app stores. And it's going to show your Apple ID here at the top. It's probably your email address. It might be something different. Mine's my email address. It doesn't really matter because that's where you want to click on the blue line that shows your Apple ID. I'm going to click there now. All right, next this pop-up happens and it should, gives you a couple of different options. But what you want to do is click on this line right here called view Apple ID. It's written in blue. I'm going to click there now. All right, once you click there, you will need to register your thumbprint to use that as a touch ID to log in, or you can enter your password. For me, my touch ID is registered, so I'm going to go ahead and use that right now. All right, once you click in there, then you're going to get to this account settings tab. So here, there's a lot of information about your Apple ID, but what you want to do is scroll all the way down until you get here to where it says purchase history. That's where you can find your purchase history from the app store on your iPhone or iPad. Let me go ahead and click in there now. All right, loading purchase history. All right, so I went ahead and clicked there, and then as you can see, this is the purchase history history for your app store purchases on the iPhone or iPad. And by default, it's going to show the last 90 days of your purchase history in your app store. Now, if you want to go back even further, all you want to do is click on this last 90 days line here on the top. I'm going to click there now. All right. And as you can see, it goes all the way back to the beginning of your Apple ID account. So mine is 2011. I'm not sure exactly how far it goes back. That seems to be quite a ways. If yours goes back further than 2011, be sure to leave a comment below. So there you have it that is how you can find your app store purchase history on an iphone and ipad if you know an easier way to do this be sure to leave a comment below let the rest of us know how you did it but hopefully you found that video useful if so click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and i hope to see you on the next video thanks again for watching